Uh, so drawing the most stable, you know, Newman confirmation of 2, 3, uh, dimethylbutane. Um, again, the first thing you want to always do is start with uh, with the, not lower structure, but bond, but, but bond angle structure. And you could also start with lower structure. Who cares? Right. So again, butane is my parent. So 2, 3, 4. All right. On carbon 2, I have a methyl. On carbon 3, I also have a methyl. All right. So that is my structure. So again, be careful here. I'm going to call this my front carbon. I'm going to call this my back. Right. So to my front carbon, I have two methyl groups and one hydrogen. Hydrogen is not shown, but it's there. On the on the back carbon, also I have two methyl groups and one hydrogen. So let's go to a confirmation. Now remember, the most stable confirmation is always in the staggered form. And so uh, never ever think of the eclipse when we talk about the most stable. Uh, the eclipse is when we only go to the eclipse when we're talking about the worst. Human projection, and I'm sorry, and I'm kind of moving this up, but I just want to get my stuff straight to illustri illustrate properly to you guys. Alright, and you always want to draw these three projections, um, and it will definitely make sense as to which one is the, the best. So, again, alright, I had two methyl groups bonded to. On the front carbon, I have two methyl groups and one hydrogen. So I'm going to put the methyl group here, and it doesn't really matter at this point. And I'm going to put the hydrogen over here. Now, once I set this here, i got to do the same thing for the other two. So here will be a CH3, a hydrogen, and a CH3. Here, nothing changes. CH3, CH3, and hydrogen. Now, I'm going to draw my big circle. Sorry guys, my circles are horrible, but give me a break, I'm human. Alright, so I'm going to draw my circle. My circles, now I just want to have my branches off, two branches at the top, one in between. Two branches at the top, one in between. Just And after doing this for a while, it will just come natural to you guys um, when we talk about the staggered conformation. Alright, so now that I have this. Now, my back carbon also has two methyl groups and a hydrogen. So, you know, starting, this will be my first one, so I'll put a methyl group here. You know, I'll put a hydrogen here, and I'll also put a, the other methyl group here. It doesn't matter at this point. Now, it's going to matter because now we got to rotate this. Right? You also, think of the circle as a wheel that we got to just click, 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 right? So, rotate in the wheel. This CH3 will come here, take the hydrogen's place. The hydrogen will come up here, right? And, and so again, the CH3 will come over here. So this will be a CH3. This, this CH3 will come down here, and take the hydrogen's place. The hydrogen will move up here, right? Coming from here, we're gonna rotate one more time. So this CH3 will take this CH3 place. This CH3 will come over here. So, this will be a C3H. Since this CH3 took hydrogen's place, hydrogen will be over here. And the last methyl will be down here. Yes. Now, which one is the most stable? The most stable conformation will always be the one that minimizes the Gauss interaction. So, let's see how many Gauss's you know, we have. We have one here. We have two here. We have three here, all right, and that will be three gauches or gauche, whatever, all right? How about this one? We have one here, we have two here, we have three here, yes. How about this one? We have one here, we have two here. Uh, right. So in fact, this will be the most stable confirmation because again, we only have two, you know, steric strain of Gauss interactions, you know, possible. The other, the other two, we the other two we actually have three. 
So, and so this will be the most stable. 